Cloud Workings here with you to take a look at your weather forecast. We do have a system on the way as a result. There are some uh, special weather statements and uh, warnings in effect uh, for uh, channel quarterbacks and vicinity. There's special weather statements and a wreck house wind warning. The winds will gust 100 kilometers per hour Sunday night to Monday morning. Uh, for the remainder of the island, with the exception of the west coast, uh, areas in central Newfoundland, there is the potential for some significant freezing rain and rain. Rainfall amounts 5 to 15 millimeters as possible. Uh, for uh, the south coast and the Avalon, we could see uh, 5 to 15 millimeters of rain, some mild temperatures as well. Uh, and uh, as a result, of course, with all that recent snow that we had fall, there is the potential for some flooding as well. We'll certainly keep you updated on that. And this is the reason why. Uh, we do have uh, this storm system that is moving into our area. The system arrives Sunday night into Monday morning. It is going to be rain for most areas, um, freezing rain, uh, changing to rain for central Newfoundland, and then uh, rain uh, for the Avalon and some snow for the west coast. Your forecast for Sunday is actually not looking too bad. Uh, you'll notice that we are looking at fairly overcast conditions, kind of a precursor to the clouds that is ahead of our system on the way. Um, a mix of sun and cloud in central and uh, for the Avalon. Temperatures right around the freezing mark across Newfoundland. Um, in Labrador, we're looking at some flurries for both uh, Happy Valley, Goose Bay, and for Labrador City. And we are looking at some cloudy skies in Hopedale. Your extended forecast for St. John's, a mix of sun and cloud for your Sunday, minus one as the daytime high. Temperatures warm up to above freezing as that system moves through on Monday. Sunday night into Monday, we're going to see rain for St. John's. Some gusty winds as well with gusts up to 90 possible, and as I said, 3 degrees. And then we cool back down to the freezing mark for your Tuesday with some flurries. The flurries expected for Wednesday and for your Thursday as well. And then moving along to Gander, a mix of sun and cloud, and uh, minus 1 expected for Sunday. Monday we are looking at some rain and 3 degrees. Again, Sunday night into Monday, there is the risk of seeing some freezing rain. And then for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we are looking at some flurries both days likely picking up a couple centimeters of accumulation. And then for Corner Brook, a bit of a different story, fairly overcast for Sunday, minus one as the daytime high. Uh, for Monday, it looks like we are going to see either some rain or some snow. I do suspect it will be more so in the form of snow, uh, plus three as the daytime high nonetheless, so there will likely be uh, some uh, rain mixing in there or some freezing rain. And then as, as we head through the uh, latter half of your five day, we are looking at flurries Tuesday, Wednesday, and for Thursday. And once again, a couple centimeters of accumulation is possible. You can stay up to date with what's happening in your area by checking out our website, newfoundnews.ca. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet. They responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet, connect to what matters.